breaking news from the defense world that's reshaping European air power. Spain has just signed a massive $3.3 billion deal with Turkey for advanced jet trainers, and this isn't just another aircraft purchase. This is a game-changer for NATO, for European defense collaboration, and for the future of military aviation. Today we're breaking down Spain's historic jet acquisition and why it matters. Let's dive in. On December 29, 2025, Spain formalized an agreement worth 2.6 billion euros, that's approximately 3.3 billion US dollars, to acquire 30 Herjet Advanced Jet Trainer aircraft from Turkish Aerospace Industries. But here's what makes this different. This isn't just buying planes off a shelf. Spain is getting a complete training ecosystem. Think of it as buying a turnkey flight training system, not just aircraft. Deliveries start in 2028 and will continue into the mid-2030s, giving Spain time to phase out their aging Northrop F-5M trainers that have been in service since the 1970s. And here's an interesting detail. Airbus is involved as the system integrator, providing technical assurance and reducing adoption risk. That's significant political and industrial backing. So what exactly is the Herjet? And why is everyone talking about it? The Herjet is Turkey's first domestically developed supersonic jet trainer. Development started in 2017 to replace aging T-38 trainers in the Turkish Air Force, and it had its maiden flight in April 2023. What makes the Herjet special is its versatility. It's not just a trainer. It's designed for advanced jet training, lead in fighter instruction, and light combat missions. That multi-role capability significantly boosts its export appeal. The aircraft uses modular avionics that can simulate radar, electronic warfare, and weapons systems, letting pilots practice complex combat scenarios without the cost of live weapons integration. For Turkey, this represents a major leap. They've gone from licensed production and subsystems to designing and exporting complete aircraft systems. That's a massive achievement in defense industrial capability. Now, Spain had options. They could have gone with the Boeing T-7A Red Hawk, the Leonardo M346, or the Korean KIT-50. So why the Herjet? Three main reasons. Spain's entire defense budget for 2025 is around 12 billion euros. The Herjet offered competitive pricing while still delivering supersonic performance. In an era of fiscal constraint, that matters. Second capability match. Spain needs to train pilots for advanced aircraft like the Eurofighter Typhoon and future FCS platforms. The F-5 MIS they're replacing our subsonic with analog systems. They simply can't replicate modern combat environments. The Herjet can. Third, industrial partnership. With Airbus as system integrator and Turkey as a NATO ally, Spain gets technical assurance, political alignment, and supply chain diversification all in one package. There's also a strategic hedge here. The Herjet's light attack capability gives Spain operational flexibility for expeditionary or low-intensity missions without deploying expensive frontline fighters. But the real story here goes beyond Spain and Turkey. This deal has major implications for NATO and European defense. For NATO, this reinforces Turkey's role as a critical contributor to alliance capabilities. At a time when there's talk of strategic divergence, this deal shows practical interdependence in action. A Turkish-designed supersonic trainer integrating into a Western European Air Force strengthens operational standardization across the alliance. For European defense industry, this signals a shift away from traditional supplier monopolies. Emerging manufacturers that can deliver competitive performance at lower costs are gaining traction. The defense industrial landscape is decentralizing. For Turkey, this is a watershed moment. According to Haluk Gorgan, head of Turkey's Presidency of Defense Industries, this demonstrates that Turkey has reached a new level in design, production, system integration, and certification. And he's right. 
This success strengthens Turkey's position in future negotiations for higher-end platforms like the KN fifth-generation fighter. It could also catalyze follow-on jet exports to other countries in Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and Southeast Asia. Several nations are watching this deal closely. If the Herjet performs well in Spanish service, expect more orders. So what does this all mean for the future of military aviation? We're seeing three major trends converge. 1. Traditional aerospace hierarchies are being challenged. Defense procurement is increasingly prioritizing performance-to-cost ratios and rapid delivery over brand legacy. 2. Supply chain diversification is becoming a strategic priority. Reliance on single-source suppliers has proven risky. Programs like this enhance resilience. 3. NATO cohesion is being reinforced through practical industrial collaboration, not just political statements. The Herjet deal is a litmus test. Can emerging defense producers sustainably challenge entrenched aerospace giants? Based on this agreement, the answer appears to be yes. As deliveries approach in 2028, defense planners across Europe will be watching closely, not just for operational performance, but for what this signals about the future of defense procurement in an era of strategic competition and technological disruption. Spain's $3.3 billion Herjet acquisition isn't just about replacing old trainers. It's about reshaping European defense collaboration, strengthening NATO interoperability, and demonstrating that the global aerospace industry is evolving in real time. What do you think? Is this the beginning of a new era in defense procurement? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this analysis valuable, Hit that like button and subscribe for more defense and aviation content.